we are going to go from one inch setup to two inch setup. First, we're going to start with the weld rollers. We're going to take our Allen wrench and loosen this bolt on the inside of the upper wheel. We're going to spin that and pull this out, setting this there, pulling out our spacer. And then we're going to slide the first wheel off. After sliding that wheel, make sure the keyway is in the key and add your two inch roller. Now we can take off our bottom wheel. Spin the bolt off, slide the wheel off, have your keyway. Make sure your keyway is in and with holding it in, slide on your lower wheel. Now before locking it down, I'm looking at the spacing of the wheels. So those, those are pretty flush. Now you can install your bolts. After locking down the bottom wheel, you can put the bolt on the top. After installing your two inch wheels, it is time to install your wedge. First, let's remove these four bolts for the cover plate. Once removing the cover and confirming that your power is off to the machine, you can pull apart the two power leads and also your two thermocouples. After removing that, you can bring that around, let that hang. Now we'll put our wrench on that nut and insert our Allen in the front of the bolt. Loosen up the knob and your wedge will fall out. We'll grab our new wedge, we'll place the bolt inside, start screwing that on. Snug that bolt down, grab your wrench again. We'll grab the wires, bring them around, pull them up through here. And you can mix the two main power leads. They are not labeled just to get power to the wedge. And then we want to make sure, this is important for the thermocouple, that one goes to one and two goes to two. See how that sits nicely in there. While putting on the cover plate, we want to be very careful not to pinch any of these wires or elements inside of the housing. If that happens, it can have your wedge overheat. And now you are set up for two inch welding capabilities. After installing these three items, please review the wedge alignment video and follow the same steps as the one inch. Changing your wedge tip, we're going to start by taking out the four bolts on this cover plate. After making sure your power is off, you can disconnect your two power leads and then your two thermocouple. Pulling the wedge around the outside. We'll then take our Allen and our wrench. Take that nut off the back. Finish by pulling out the rest of that bolt. Now we're going to install the new one, throw the bolt in, and we're going to get this pretty snug in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Wrap it around. The power leads um, can go in either way. Most important is to make sure the thermocouple wires, you have two going to two and one going to one. Once you have that in there, make sure nothing is sticking out and put your cover plate back on. It is very important not to have any of the elements sticking out. Now 
Once the wedge is installed, uh, please go over the wedge alignment to make sure you're in the proper place. Okay, let's check out some of the components inside of the back of the machine. So once in the machine, every six months or so, you want to make sure you grease these wheels. They can even be a little bit less than that. Also, you can see we have some grease down on the sprockets. After removing the back cover and flipping the electrical panel up, you can see the insides of the machine. Every six months or so, you'll want to grease these chains, um, also the sprockets down here. In the back of the machine, you can see the breaker panel, uh, and then also back here, you have two fuses. If you do need to tighten these chains, you can loosen these two bolts, lift up, and tighten with a T-handle. That will create tension here. Before creating tension there, if this is loose, you must loosen the three bolts and nuts on here by lifting up, applying pressure, and locking them down. That will be creating tension here here. We can also, underneath this plate, grease this pivot point inside here.